Hey guys, welcome to my advanced TRX workout. We're gonna start off with a warm up. Make sure your straps are at the mid length distance so they should end right around your calf level. We're gonna start with 10 squat pulls. Arms should start at 90 degrees and extend as you squat into a nice parallel squat. This will warm up your legs and your arms. Smooth tempo. Let's get that breathing down. Inhale, exhale. Great work. Next, we're gonna do side lunges, 10 total. Again, your arms start at 90 degrees and extend as you lower into that side lunge. Really try to focus on that inside leg, keeping that straight to get a nice hip stretch. Warming up the legs here, warming up the arms. 10 side lunges. Great work. Next, we're gonna do a rotation pull. So stack the handles. Both hands are gonna hold in an alternated grip on the handles. And you're gonna pull yourself up by rotating with straight arms. It all originates from your core, so really target those obliques and keep the glutes tight. Pull yourself into that standing position by rotating. 10 rotation pulls. Really reach, really rotate. Try to keep those arms as straight as you can. Perfect, I threw a bonus two in there for you in case you missed the first one. Flip around, we're gonna do some chest fly lunges next. Your arm's gonna remain straight as you extend them to your sides, shoulder height. As you step into a forward lunge, drop that knee as close as you can to the floor, and you should really target the armpit area here. So this is warming up your biceps, your chest, and your legs. Keep those joints stacked, so shoulders over hips, knee over ankle. You'll be doing a similar movement later in your workout, so it's important to warm up these muscles now. Last few reps, awesome job. Superman rollouts next. You might remember this from the last video. It's basically an ab dolly type movement, so you're gonna start with your arms straight and keep them straight as you extend the straps overhead. Avoid ducking your chin or sticking your butt out. So think about crushing a walnut in your glutes to really help them stay tight. Keep your weight centered on your toes. Warm up that core and those lats. Great job. Finish strong. We're gonna do some ice skaters next, just to get the heart rate up a little bit. So you're basically gonna jump side to side. Nice and light, we don't need anything too explosive here. Think about a 70% effort, warming up single leg work. So try to get your balance on one leg. Try to keep the knee over the ankle, so don't let it trend towards the midline. Light arms, 10 total reps, good work. Let's just stretch it out here. Sit back with your arms extended and slightly rotate to really target each lap one at a time. Stretch out the lower back, hamstrings, and glutes. Just enjoy this stretch. Perfect work. Heart rate should be recovered a little bit now, so we're gonna shorten up the straps. We are gonna move these straps around a lot today, so this kind of acts as your rest time. So again, push down on the adjustment strap, pull up, and shorten those straps. So if you don't know how to do those, go back to my TRX Basics video. You want them up kind of by your hip level, a little bit lower than your hip. Grab a chair here that's gonna help you balance as you put your foot into the straps. It helps to have shoes on here for this workout because we're, we're jumping obviously, but also to help keep your foot secured. And we're gonna do a rear foot elevated lunge. And you're gonna see here that I'm keeping my shoulders over my hips and knee over ankle. That's really important on this because you can stress joints that you don't want to. So make sure the joints are stacked. 
flex the back foot to keep it securely in the straps. 10 reps, and we're gonna switch sides. The chair is really convenient there just for easy transitions. It cuts down some of that rest time and helps keep you safe, so don't be afraid to use it. Again, 10 reps. Really reach on these. We're just gonna knock out another set on each side. Now that you know what you're doing, really push the depth. The great thing about the TRX is that you get an increased range of motion a lot of times. So just really think about plunging that back knee towards the floor as close as you can while keeping the joints stacked. Smooth inhale, exhale rigid core. Switch sides and let's knock out our final set of 10 on the rear foot elevated lunge. Finish strong and remove your foot from the strap. You can ditch that chair, you're done with it. Great work. While we have those legs nice and warmed up from those tough split squats, we're gonna do some lateral squat jumps. So step to the side of your mat, lower into a partial squat, and use your arms and legs to be as explosive as you can. Get up and over, up and over. 10 total reps. Here we're gonna really be explosive, work on power, and rest. One trick to these is to avoid jumping forward or closer to the attachment point because they'll get really awkward. You always want tension in your straps, so keep that in mind on your second set. Here we go, step to the side of your mat, deep breath, let's work those quads and glutes again. Let's be explosive. Ready? Go. Up, 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 over, over, up and over, up and over. Great job, guys. Come on, burn those legs, thrust those hips forward, get up. Awesome. Your heart rate and legs should be talking to you here. So if your heart rate's not up, if your legs aren't burning, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> here we go, last set, you guys. 10 total reps. Push it, drive the heart rate, burn your legs. You've gotta put the intensity in here. We're working at 90 to 100% effort. Woo, awesome job. We're gonna shorten the straps again, so use that time to let your heart rate come down, rest your legs. We are gonna be working the arms now. Those quads and glutes should definitely be burning from the split lunges and the lateral squat jumps. We're getting into the bridge position. You might remember these from our intermediate workout, but now we're gonna center our chest directly beneath the attachment point and pull up, 10 inverted rows. Knees stay 90 degrees on this. Basically an upside down pull up. That's how you should feel. Now take a quick break here. I'm gonna show you a little bit harder of a variation where your legs are extended in front of you. And you can play around with that as you get stronger, straighten the legs more. You can even do these with one leg raised as well. So these can continue to be pushed on the limits as you improve your strength as well. Awesome job. Whew, those are tough. Now we're gonna shorten the straps again and continue working the arms. So we're definitely kind of working in muscle groups on this session today. So shorten those straps up as far as they're gonna go. When you're seated on the ground, and you'll see that coming up, your arms should be able to fully extend as you're seated underneath the attachment point, knees bent. And we're gonna do lap pulls now. This is just like a lap pull machine that you'd find in a gym, but you're using your body weight as the resistance. If you need to do sets of three to five and rest, 
instead of doing two sets of 10, break it up as much as you need to. That's why there's a pause button here. So don't be afraid to pause and rest. If you're still with me, finish strong. Really tough work. I'm just gonna have you stretch here now. Let those arms fully recover. And whether you did three sets of three, two sets of five, or one full set of 10, let your arms rest and really recover here so you can give me another hard effort. Rest is important when you're pushing the limits. Stretch, let those arms breathe, just relax. We're gonna do one more set here in about 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. One more set of 10 lat pulls. Dig those heels into the ground, pull those shoulder blades down, and use your exhale. Exhale and pull, pull, exhale, inhale. Come on, finish strong. Work those arms. Great work on those. Those are super tough, especially when you superset it with the bridge pulls. Go ahead and lengthen the straps now. We're gonna bring it back to that mid-length or mid-calf adjustment. So the handle should fall right around your calf height. We're gonna do a super set of chest flies and push-ups. So we're gonna do 10 chest flies. No lunge this time. We're just targeting the biceps and chest muscles. So keep the neck neutral. Soft elbow, the most bend I want is about a 10 degree bend here. If you've got a shoulder issue, definitely do not do these. Just regular push-ups here is fine, regular standing push-ups. You should feel right at the armpit as your chest goes right to the hand height here. Now we're gonna head to the floor and put our feet in the straps and knock out a set of six atomic push-ups. Instead of bringing the knees straight to the chest though, we're gonna go side to side to the elbows to work the obliques. Push-up, knee to chest. And we're just gonna do six here. If you're feeling above and beyond, go ahead and work your way up to 10. It's a tough superset. Awesome, now you're gonna hop back up and give me another set of 10 chest flies. I really want you to think about stretching the arms on the chest fly and working strength and power in that rotation push-up. You know what to do here, stretch those arms. You're gonna feel the fatigue on the second set, but the good news is you know these movements and how long they take, so mentally you're in an advantage. Stretch the chest, stretch those biceps, squeeze the shoulder blades at the back. As you get fatigued, it's gonna be easy to stick the butt out, so really keep the core rigid and the glutes tight. Perfect, done with those. Head back to the floor and we're gonna do one more set of those rotation atomic push-ups. I'll demonstrate six. Check on a few extra reps if you're feeling feisty today. All right, up into plank, and here we go. Push up, knees to elbow, switching sides every time. Let's go arms and core. Awesome, your heart rate might be up from that a little bit. That's totally fine, something we don't mind on an advanced workout. All right, we're gonna do squat jumps and hamstrings next. So hop on up and you're just gonna do a nice smooth squat jump. So feet under shoulders. I'm keeping my arms relaxed here because I want my legs to do all the talking. So quads and glutes, we're just nice and quick on our turnover. Up, up, up. Now we're gonna hook the heels and the straps and work the back side of the body, the hamstrings. So you did work your quads and glutes there, now we're gonna work hamstrings and glutes. So heels in, hips up. And notice I'm driving my hips as I curl my heels and that's an important step. It's easy to cheat on this movement just by leaving your hips flat and kinda of half hazardly pulling your feet in and out. 
You've got to really focus on driving the hips, being intentional there that as you're pulling your heels in, you're pushing the hips up. We're going to hop back up and do those squat jumps again. Relax the arms, find that partial squat, quick turnover, and get up. Burn those quads and glutes with a quick tempo squat jump. See how I'm thrusting my hips forward? We really want to get that hip extension movement down. Great for power training. Hop on the floor and we're going to focus on that hip extension again. As you pull your heels in, drive your hips. Hip extension. I'll say it again. Hip extension. All right, I'll let you get after it. You've got 10 reps, hamstring curls. Toes up, hips up, and drive. Last rep, awesome. One of my favorite supersets for toning the legs. That one works really well, so good job. It's tough, way to go. Next, we've got eye fly and triceps. We're gonna start with our arms extended, slightly leaning back, and pull ourselves to the standing position, keeping our arms straight. Lower back down slowly, and remember to keep a nice smooth tempo, tension in the bands at all times. People run into trouble on this one when they begin jerking themselves up and opening their diaphragm. Keep that trunk engaged, ribs pulled down. Arms straight, smooth tempo. 10 total on this challenging eye fly. Next, bring the elbows to 90 degrees. You'll start slightly leaning back and you're gonna extend your arms to pull yourself up. So you start in a 90 degree angle at your elbows and you straighten your arms, pull yourself to standing. Slight lean back, standing. Elbows bent, elbows straight. One great cue to keep in mind is to keep your shoulders in line with your hips, in line with your knees and ankles. Eyes on the attachment point. You can make this easier or harder by stepping forward or backwards. It takes a little time to get used to this movement. It's really similar to a triceps push down that you do at the gym, except you're using your body weight as resistance. We're gonna go back to the eye fly, so step back slightly, adjust your distance so that's appropriate for you. And you're going back to that straight arm extension overhead. This one targets lats and shoulders, whereas the other one targets triceps. So a great arm superset. A smooth tempo is key on both of these. The right foot plate spin is also key on both of these. No slack in the bands, nice and smooth. Great job. Bend the elbows, adjust the feet. Now if that last time just wasn't doing it for you, you can substitute the triceps extension that you learned in the intermediate video here. Whatever works best for your triceps. This one is super challenging in terms of coordination and execution, which is why I put it in the advanced workout. Picture a triceps push down that you do in a gym, and that might really help you here. Finish these last few reps nice and strong, really targeting the back of the arms here. A great one for forearm strength as well. Right here, you can really feel the, the forearms keeping you strong in that 90 degree position. All right, and we're all done with the eye fly triceps combo. Take a deep breath here, great time to grab water as we head into our final segment. We're gonna adjust the straps down a little bit lower here. Get on the floor, hook the toes into the handle straps. And we're gonna start with a pike. We'll superset this with a mountain climber. You're going to start in the extended plank position and lift your hips towards the ceiling, keeping the feet flexed at all times. This targets core, but you might feel it in those tired lats from the eye fly before this. Think about trying to get your head through your hands here. Having great hamstring mobility really helps, so if you have really tight hamstring, that's going to be a mobility limiter on this. 
very tough movement. If you can't do those, just hold an extended plank on your hands during that time. Take some rest, recharge the core batteries here, and we're gonna move into a mountain climber next. I'm gonna have you do 10 on each leg. Try to avoid seesawing the TRX straps. So nice smooth movements, keeping your hips in line with your shoulders. The minute the hips sync up or your movement gets jerky, the TRX will get out of control. 10 per side. Keep the feet flexed. Awesome job. Take a break and we're gonna do one of each one of those one more time. All right, extended plank, drive the hips towards the ceiling, shoot the head through the hands. Inhale, exhale. Really fire that core engine up because you're gonna be done after these two. Great job. Take a quick break and here we've got our final exercise which is 10 mountain climbers per side. Aim for excellent execution here as you finish this workout strong. Here we go, fully rested, ready to go. Get into that extended plank position on the hands. One knee at a time, 10 per side. Keeping those straps nice and smooth. Hips flat, feet flexed, tight core. Done. Hey, way to go you guys, that was really awesome. Really pumped that you made it through the advanced workout. We've got one more in this segment, and that's going to be TRX circuit training. So come on back for next session, circuit training. Well done today, and enjoy.